Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading of yours. It is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with every Gemini watching this video. So, Gemini, uh, overall energy I see is that someone's stuck on you. All right, definitely someone's stuck on you with the Six of Swords in reverse here. Let's see. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? What's the Six of Swords in reverse? Yeah. Someone's not ready to accept this ending, okay? There's been an ending between you guys, okay? Or whatever, but there's unfinished business. Yeah, someone refuses to shut this chapter with you. This is the person who's stuck on you. Someone who either tried to move on from you, okay? But they couldn't. But someone wants to come back because things are not over between you guys. If you think it's over, think again. What's the word in reverse? Yeah, see, there was an ending here, right? But this person wants to come back towards you, okay? Because, um, with a death here, definitely, okay? This There has been an ending, like I said, but I think this person was someone who tried to run away from change, from transition, okay? This person knew that um, there was a change that was needed here, okay? But with a death here, I feel as overall energy here, there is a huge change, a huge transformation that's going on in your relationship within the connection out here, okay? And that's something that this person was avoiding for a very long time here. But the death card is something, it's an inevitable change, right? That's something that you need to change. You need to let it go in order for the new to come in. And that's what this person is going through. Yeah, I think they're putting an end to their old patterns is what I'm getting, okay? The world in reverse is repeating negative patterns, okay? That's why you feel stuck and stagnant. You're just going in circles with someone, okay? Six of Swords in reverse is also similar energy where you know you need to move forward. You need to, um, you know... Um, go through a certain uh, change in order to go forward smoothly okay but that's what this person keeps doing they keep coming back to you but they know that in order to move forward with you they need to make a certain change which is outside their comfort zone but they were refusing to do it that's what's happening now ace of pentacles okay see knight of pentacles in reverse here this could be a situation where you felt strung along or there was just no momentum here you were fed up and, of, and sick of investing into a relationship where uh, things were just not moving fast enough or this person was just non-committal okay any of it all right let's see how you view them as the ace of pentacles so you view this person as someone who who want, who sees who wants a golden opportunity with you uh wanting to stabilize and materialize um this entire connection into something committed into a relationship. That's you view. That's how you view them. Give me one card for the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, but they see you as giving up. They see you as someone who walked away from their mind games. Okay, they see you as giving up. You just felt like you were defeated. Okay, but um, because this person was trying to sabotage the connection over and over again. Give me one more card for the Five of Swords in reverse. This person literally pushed you over. Yeah, see, you walked away from the from this person because this was someone who was making things very, very toxic. Yeah, with the devil here. They see you as someone who's given up a connection. Because something was just too toxic for you to handle. You walked away from a toxic connection. That's how they view you. And now they view you as someone who wants a brand new beginning uh, or this is how they, this is what they want with you. Okay, but they do see you with Ace of Pentacles here yeah, as someone they want commitment with. Okay, although you walked away from them, yeah, this person probably wants to reconcile. Okay, but I see them as viewing you as someone who walked away from a connection that was very toxic. Also with the devil here. It felt chained, tied, restricted, bound to, okay. It was just something not very good for your higher self. How does the person you're dealing with view you? They view you as the Eight of Wands in reverse. So they view you as someone who's being non-communicative right now. You know, the Eight of Wands in reverse is the card where things are moving too fast. There was a lot of progress that was made. But I think the progress was going on too fast, okay? And uh, one person here couldn't handle it. And that's why things have come to like a screeching halt is how they view you. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse here? They see you as someone not being communicated. Yeah, see? They see you as someone who's just no longer investing into them. The Knight of Pentacles wanted to come out before also. They see you as someone who stopped communicating with them, okay? And they're no longer investing. Because again, this is someone who is uh, not offering you anything committed, anything stable, empty promises. Someone lacked loyalty or just was um, uh, lacking the dedication to make things work. This is for a few of you. What's the Knight of Pentacles in yours? Yeah, okay, this person definitely views you as someone who's non-committal, okay? Yep. 
this person views you as non-committal. So yeah, Gemini, if this could be you, you're on this side here, then you could be viewing this person as someone who's stopped communicating and uh, as someone who's just not putting in the effort and they view as someone non-committal, okay? And Gemini, you view this person as someone who wants a brand new beginning with you, but you drop this person, okay? Because this person was very toxic. You just let this person go. Okay, in the Ten of Swords here, in your feelings, Gemini is the Ten of Swords here. You feel backstabbed, betrayed, treated by this person here, okay? Something ended badly between you guys. What's the Ten of Swords here? Why do you feel this way? Yeah. In your feelings, give me one more card for the Ten of Swords in reverse here. You cut this person off. You're just not communicating. Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse here? Page of Wands here. So this person is um, the one who's here, right, on this side. You feel like this person's giving you the silent treatment, okay? Or you're giving this person the silent treatment, okay? You feel this person's completely cut you off. Very spiteful, very cold-hearted. They're being very cold-hearted, very resentful towards you, okay? But with the page of phones here, you also feel like talking to this person, okay? In your, in your feelings, in your emotions, you want to converse with this person, for sure, okay? But you're afraid because this person's just cut you off. And you feel very cheated, very fast. But with the Ten of Swords here, I also feel that this is a lot of over-exertion. Okay? You're over-exaggerating the, uh, the situation. If not, I think there's a lot of overthinking and over-analyzing going on on your side here. That, that, it's like that nervous breakdown. Okay? You feel like this nervous breakdown here. Something hit rock bottom. Okay? For sure. And things ended very painfully. Yeah? You probably feel on this side that this person is like 100%, 120% done, done with you. Yeah, because they've cut you off, but you still want to talk to them. You want to converse with them. You want to, you want to communicate with them. This person feels with the five of wands in reverse here that, um, what's the five of wands in reverse? Why do they feel the five of wands in reverse here? Four of swords. Give me one more card. Give me one more card for the four of swords. Give me four. One more card for the four of swords. Dude. Give me one more card. Okay. Yeah. This person out here is waiting for you to reach out, waiting for you to communicate, waiting for you to talk to them, but they're not going to make that move, okay? Because they've given up on this connection. Five of Wands in reverse here. This person's just not ready to entertain you anymore because you're bringing in a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of tension, arguments in their life, okay? They're done fighting for you. This person could feel that they, there's a lot of competition, okay? Or they didn't know where they literally stood in your, uh, stood in your life. And they're done with it, okay? They're fed up. They don't want to fight this connection anymore. They don't want to fight for you anymore is what I'm getting. They're looking away. It's still the three of wands. So I feel this person is turning their back towards you, but they're looking away from you. They're waiting for you to communicate. You want the other hand here, okay, with the nerve soldier. You know there's been an ending here, okay? But you're afraid probably to communicate with this person because they're showing up as the queen of swords and reverse you in your feelings, which is someone really nasty with their mouth or someone who's hypocritical. You do definitely see this person as someone who's just not ready to talk to you, okay? You anyways view them as someone who's um, given up. But you do view them as someone you want a brand new beginning with. You view them as someone who wants... who you want to have a new beginning with and they view you as non-committal and that's one of the reasons why i mean this person could have gone through a lot with you they could have given you a lot of chances or you could have given them a lot of chances okay and now they're just gonna turn their back but they're still waiting for you to come towards you for you to come towards them but with the four of swords they're thinking a lot about the situation you know but they, they, they're just not saying anything because with the five of wands in reverse here, this is a situation that brings in too much drama in their lives, okay? And they're not, they're not up for that anymore. Okay, tell me about the page of pentacles in reverse here. Why is this the action that Gemini will take? You're not making a move towards them. Seven of swords here. Give me one more card for the action that Gemini will take. Give me one more card for the action that Gemini will take. Yeah, you're losing hope, Gemini. You have a lot of feelings for this person here, okay? You're obsessing about communication, but you're not communicating with them. 
because of the seven of swords here you're just being very sneaky very deceptive i'm getting here as you know your ego and pride is stopping you from moving towards this person here but with the star in reverse also see as you as someone who's just giving up hope you don't think this person will take you back because see you see them as someone who's dropped you right someone who's dropped this toxic connection here they're no longer in your control okay probably that's one of one thing also that how you see this person here but yeah you do view them as someone you want this new beginning with them okay you want commitment with them because earlier you probably were non-committal towards this person or this person was non-committal towards you but the one who was non-committal now wants a commitment okay but they're still not ready to open up okay because they think it's done done i mean things between you guys are over and done with finito they want to for the action they're obsessing about it but they're still not communicating uh they're just trying to hide their feelings they're trying to hide their true intentions okay and this is all because they're giving up hope they don't feel that things will ever work out between you guys gemini if this is you i feel you're waiting for the right time to approach this person because that's what the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck but yeah for right now you're trying to try to keep away from this connection as much as you can okay you're just fooling yourself gemini if this is you on this side all right this person out here is giving up on this connection the person on this side is literally losing patience patience okay they're unable to wait they they don't want to waste their time and energy you know anymore because they've given enough okay they've given enough and now they want to be very very careful about where they spend or invest their time and energy okay they've been waiting for you very patiently to come towards them okay and this is a situation where they've invested and put in a lot of effort here but since there is no fruition since you're taking forever to communicate with them they're just giving up i don't know if they're walking away yet but i do see in the near future someone walking away what's the seven of pentacles in reverse why is this the action that the person that gemini is dealing with will take why is this this action that this person takes Give me two cards for action. Eight of swords in reverse here, yeah. This person could have been stuck on you for a very long time, okay? But I think they're releasing themselves and they're wanting to move towards their wish fulfillment. See, this person knows that you are their wish fulfillment, okay? But I feel somewhere, somehow, you know, this person is like, you know what? I don't want to waste my time. This person feels they don't want to waste their time anymore because you're taking forever to come towards them, right? They always view you as non-committal. They view you as someone who's just not making a move. They view you as someone where they wasted their time, you know, and they just felt strung along, okay? A very slow, as moving connection where nothing was moving, okay? So, yeah, this person and their feelings, they're still waiting for you in their emotionally, but they're quite done is what I'm getting here, okay? Gemini, this could definitely be the side, you know, that you could resonate more with. I don't know why. But yeah, in the actions, this person's uh, no longer waiting, okay? They're releasing themselves from you, yeah? And they're moving towards their wish fulfillment, okay? But I'm getting here, this person does see you as someone that who makes them very happy. But it's like they have no choice, okay? Three of cups at the bottom of the deck with the nine of swords here this person is stressing a lot about reconciliation they do want this reconciliation with you see that's why the nine of cups here but they're like you know what I, they can't do much about it why is the eight of cups here as the near future why is the eight of cups here as the near future give me two more cards for the near future why is the eight of cups here as the near future yeah someone's walking away because other person still just watching and not doing anything about it that's why this person yeah see there's a lack of movement here six of wands in reverse here this is a relationship where there was a lack of public recognition there was a lack of forward movement there was a lack of success here okay so someone just feels the need to walk away from this relationship because they feel that things that things are just not moving forward there's just no growth here one of you here i'm getting definitely wanted commitment here okay because that's how the other person views you and i mean you know what this person who's watching you someone's watching you just walk away they're watching you see you move on in the near future here but again they're still watching you from a distance keeping an eye on you but um they won't talk to you you know that's a lot of watching because with the six of wands and reverse here i feel you're dealing with someone who lacks the confidence they have very low confidence very low self-esteem they lack self-belief okay that they can have make things happen with you see that's why with the star in reverse here Someone's losing hope. Gemini, I mean, if, if I'm talking to you, if this is for you, I still feel this is a cross what I'm reading for. But Gemini, if you want to approach this person, you got to do things now. You can't approach this person with a page of wands here and stuff like that, okay? And if this is a cross watch, if the page of wands is not going to work. 
that's not going to work. You may want to keep things light and fun hearted. You may want to approach this person in a way where you're testing the waters, you know, where they just don't slam the door in their face. But well, they pretty much have, okay? And if you want to break that door, you got to be the king of wands, okay? You got to be something more aggressive. This passive approach, this fun loving, fun lighting, light games approach won't work, okay? Because with the 10 of swords here, I mean, this person's pretty done with you, okay? And you know it, they're walking away in the near future here. It's your self-confidence. It's all about the confidence, Gemini. Or it's all about the confidence, cross watcher, whatever this is. And the magician is the best possible outcome here. Someone's manifesting something. What's the magician? What's the magician as the best possible outcome? Someone's manifesting. This is you, Gemini. Manifesting. Okay. Give me one more card. Yeah, see, this... The best possible outcome here is there is manifestation, okay? Someone's still manifesting you, Gemini. You're manifesting them, but you're still at a crossroads, right? Not not being able to make a decision because you're very confused here. You still don't know which is the right way to approach this person here. Two of Wands is the energy where, you know what, um, in or out, left or right. But I don't know why, but somewhere, somewhere I feel that this person is still trying to decide about what is the right approach. I don't feel that whoever's manifesting this relationship is someone's like, you know what, like I'm out of this or am I in this? This person is in it, they're manifesting this, okay, but they just don't know which is the right way to approach you. How can they bridge the gap between you guys? Because I feel this is a long distance relationship for a few of you. So someone out here is uh, literally wanting, to, is, is waiting and watching, you know, of how they can uh, bridge the gap between you guys, okay, how you guys can come together. But with the seven of cups here, this person is very overwhelmed. They keep thinking about you, they dream about you, they're in their illusions. But see, that's what the problem is here. The magician, the seven of cups, it's all the cards of illusions, right? But you really got to take action and make things happen. That's what's happening. And that's why there's no moment and there's no movement here in this connection. Okay. I hope this reading resonates. I hope this makes sense. If it does, do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time. Bye-bye.